I believe working with the right tools in the right environment is super important. As a full-time software developer, my home office is where I spend most of my days. And because of that, I'm always on the lookout for new accessories or core components to try out. In this series, I want to showcase these items and explore how they may improve productivity, comfort and even just the aesthetic. Let's see what I have lined up for today. Alright, the largest item I tested recently is this Quad HD Ergo Dual pair of monitors that LG sent out. They're part of LG's Ergo line of monitors, so they come with a monitor arm to stack them in different configurations. And I have to say, this monitor arm is pretty good. It clamps to the desk nicely and has great cable management. The multiple monitor placement configurations are also a nice touch. Most of these configurations can be changed on the fly, apart from the vertically stacked arrangement. The monitors can tilt and swivel, and the whole array can move up and down, sideways and back and forth. Pretty extensive. I wish it went higher, as it's a bit flush with a desk shelf, but it would be all good without it. My full-time job is coding, and I believe the best arrangement for me would be one horizontal monitor and one vertical. I mostly tested this setup with two vertical monitors side by side to leave room for my laptop, and having four relatively square windows was pretty nice. Vertical monitors are also pretty cool to browse code files and have more text on screen at once. Having a width of 1440 pixels isn't too bad for this use case. However, in some other cases, such as working in Google Sheets, a horizontal monitor would be preferable. The monitors themselves are identical, they're fairly lightweight, but that's explained by the fact that the power supplies are external. They feature an IPS panel, a 1440p resolution, and they're not the brightest at 350 nits, but I think it's acceptable for a work or content creation usage scenario. Both panels offer a USB-C input with 65 watt charging, they also have one HDMI input and two DisplayPort ports, one as an input and the other for daisy chaining. This feature allows you to connect your computer to a single monitor and daisy chain the signal to the second monitor. However, this isn't supported on Mac, so I had to connect both monitors via USB-C. They also have a USB hub, which is quite handy. So now to the moment of truth, do I like these monitors? Well, they're interesting for sure, but I think they're not for me. I'm used to a higher pixel density and going back to 2.5K on a 27 inch panel is a downgrade. My work mostly consists of reading docs and code, so higher resolutions are desirable. Apart from that, there's more flexibility with this setup than with an ultra wide, but I think I would prefer the latter if two horizontal monitors was the goal. So I would mostly recommend this monitor array if you want to use one or both of them vertically, or if you plan on changing the arrangement often. The arm solution is pretty solid I would say, but the monitors are relatively average spec wise, and my biggest gripe with them is that they were calibrated very differently. I think it's a missed opportunity given they ship in the same box, it would be nice if the image matched between them, especially with this product's target audience. With all of that in mind, LG if you're watching this, please continue sending me your monitors, I'm sure we can find one that I love. Right under the monitors is where you'll find a desk shelf from Grovemade that I recently added to this setup. Their plywood and hardwood desk shelves have been seen in many desk setups over the years, and this new variant has the same build quality and great design you would expect, but in a matte finish. Offered in black or white, the finish looks and feels super nice. It's kind of like a plastic coating and seems durable. It comes with matching black or natural cork legs and a silver aluminum middle shelf to maximize the storage capacity. It also happens to be a perfect match with silver MacBooks given the raw aluminum and black theme. Paired with this new shelf, I also got the Grovemade tray in silver and black cork. Same materials as the shelf, so it's a perfect match. Again here, the craftsmanship is amazing and I love how they carve the cork insert to fit various accessories. For now, this tray is home to the remote for my motorized blinds and also for this portable wireless mouse from Vissels. It's pretty cool for a budget mouse as it features a built-in battery that's rechargeable via USB-C. As a plus, it works both with a 2.4GHz dongle and Bluetooth. Another new item for this setup is this Grovemade mat that's made from linoleum and cork. It happens to be almost the same exact materials as my desktop for a super stealthy look. Linoleum is a great alternative to leather as it does look premium with its matte finish and it's also durable. 
This is the smallest variant they offer and it's enough for my needs given that I use a trackpad, but for mouse users or anyone with a larger keyboard, you may want to opt for one of the larger options. Now, if you've been following my videos, you know I love monitor lamps. So here, I got my hands on a unit that's curved. This is from Limax and it was initially a Kickstarter project, but now it's broadly available. Although it is intended for curved monitors, I believe it's also a great option for a multi-monitor setup as it reduces potential glare for side monitors. This lamp feels high quality with a mostly aluminum build. The mount should accommodate most monitors and allows adjusting the angle of the light, which is pretty neat. It features a downlight that's both intensity and color adjustable with a super compact wireless puck controller. The light quality is very good and it features a high color rendering index for lifelike colors. The light bar also has a light strip at the back for ambient lighting, which is either fully on, breathing or sound sensitive. Given that I'm using it in a work context, I don't really bother turning on the back strip, but it's still a nice addition. I'm still a fan of Yeelight's line of monitor lamps, but this is a very good option for curved monitors or multi-monitor setups like this one. Now, if you've been on the hunt for a budget mechanical keyboard that's solid, then this next item might be just for you. It's the V84 from Vistles, and what I like about it is that it comes with Cherry Profile PBT keycaps out of the box with die sublimated legends. These look really good for included keycaps. It also came with Vistles' own linear switches, and they feel smooth as is, with minimal stem wobble and ping. In any case, the PCB is hot swap, so you can always replace them if you want. Overall, the keyboard has a relatively muted sound, pretty good for the price. The keyboard is also Bluetooth compatible and comes with a sizable battery, but I've mostly used it wired. It does have RGB LEDs with a few built-in animations and static modes if you're into that. It's not premium by any means and can be a bit rough around the edges in some aspects, but overall it's a good value for the money I think, and it even comes with good quality switch and keycaps pullers. And finally, I got this MagSafe charger from Banks called the Mag Clap. The top pad is MagSafe compatible, so it acts as an iPhone stand and charger. Something I really like about this specific charger is that it can also be adjusted back and forth for the perfect angle. Not only that, the base has a Qi charger built in, perfect to charge another phone or a pair of wireless earbuds. The base also has an LED at the front for when it's charging, and I like the aluminum band around it. It comes in white or black, and I must say that I'm pleased with its quality. All right. Let me know down below what you think about these desk setup accessories. If you feel like there's a category of items I should focus more on, make sure to let me know. I've been thinking about creating a home theater setup in my basement or make a video on the changes I made to my YouTube studio since the last video. Let me know if that sounds fun. All right, see you in the next video.